Hey guys, I'm just cleaning tonight and um, I wanted to try to give everybody their uh, 30 seconds of pain here tonight. At least everybody who's not shedding. This is just one of my male tangerine bells, possible head eclipse. My snow bell from uh, razor sharp reptiles. She's also a possible head eclipse. This is my Max Snow white and yellow bell, possible head eclipse. He's also from uh, razor sharp. So my nice straight radar females. Probably gonna save these guys for the white and yellow when he gets a little bit older. I always love the head on her. We're inside so the color's not that great, but um it's definitely still some tangerine in the center of her head. This is one of my jungle radars. <clears throat> She's been a little bit on and off with the feeding, but um, she's still um, doing alright. I mean, her tail looks alright. Her body just looks a little bit thin compared to what it normally is. This, I believe, is the last female I have left until um, my eggs hatch. She's looking pretty cool lately, I'm kind of considering holding on to her. She's a real nice apparent male. She's got a pretty wild head pattern, pretty bold. The gecko formerly known as Thor. She's getting all chubby. Here's one of my real cool banded males. The bell, possible head of clips. A little bit of tangerine, mostly up on the head and there. He's definitely bright. There's a pretty nice older <clears throat> male bell. He'll probably be ready to breed in another month or two. He's definitely got some weight on him. I like the banded ones because they hold a lot more color it seems like. Oh, it's starting to take off. I'm just going to try to get a nice little shot of the Inferno. I shared them a lot on Facebook but um, I haven't really uh, posted much on YouTube. But here he is. This is from Dave's House of Reptiles. And um, they originate from Pat Klein, I forgot to mention, um, my Blood Eye Marine, the, the one that's breeding all the females, is uh, also from Pat. 
this thing's really cool. It's got like these pied legs, these big white bands up the legs, and uh, even the sides are pretty high white for a uh, tangerine. But I'm gonna get this guy cleaned up and then um, leave him alone. He's all freaked out. Hey guys, um, I just want to get a weight on this little guy here, the little snow. Had a couple people kind of doubting his size. Two grams. Now before he wouldn't even, uh, it would normally say one when he got on there and it wouldn't hit two unless he started running around. And uh, you can kind of see he's getting that little broken nose band. Mother had a, a full band across hers, so it was pretty nice. <coughs> Excuse me. And that is vermiculite all over the uh, scale here. We don't get down like that. <laughs> but anyway, um, I, I put the scale in here because if I put them in a container, normally it doesn't. Uh, his weight doesn't even show up. So I put them in here, and, and this is so he doesn't escape. Here's one of the really cool fat tails. I believe this is an Oreo hatchling. Yeah, my battery's dying, but I had to get this guy a brand new, freshly hatched Agramania. Getting ready to clean his cage and give him some worms. This guy's huge. He's probably like 9 grams. He was just hatched a few days ago, or last week, I believe. Over here at Dave's House of Reptiles, and this is the one I wanted to show off the most, Tangela. He's got such a blood red to him and awesome contrast, but unfortunately he's in shed. And the sun's going down, but I will definitely do an update on this guy. One of the coolest Tangelas I've ever seen in person. Hey guys, um, never got to wrap the video up the other night, I'm sorry about that, uh, I wanted to get it posted a little bit sooner, but um, I'm actually going up to Venda Oaks tomorrow, so if anybody's um, in PA or you're heading up that way, um, definitely come check it out, I'm going to be um, with Dave from Dave's House of Reptiles, that's where I got my inferno from if you haven't been following, so um, Definitely come check his table out. He's got some incredible infernos, blood emerines, um, enigmas, you name it. So uh, come check us out. Maybe even some fat tails I think he's bringing. But um, we'll be up there tomorrow. And um, for those of you that follow all the time, I'll definitely have um, an update on what's going on. And if I pick anything up. Alright, but as always guys, thanks for watching.